Hello, my name is Georgi Rodulov and uh, here we have this problem. A system level uh, circuit of an oscillator is given. Now what we see is a three-point oscillator. <coughs> the G block is a transconductor with uh, input voltage V in and output current V uh, I out. So this is a transconductor, input is voltage and output is current. Um, what is the frequency for oscillations? Okay, so how to approach this uh, this uh, this this problem. Now um, I will use the, in the approach in which we assume that the circuit oscillates, and based on this assumption, we will derive the properties of these oscillations. What is uh, the frequency of oscillation and what is the uh, amplitude? But perhaps for amplitude will be for another video. So let's uh, just uh, redraw the circuit so it is uh, more convenient to analyze and to see things. So this is uh, the transconductor G and then it's terminated to a resistor R. And this is the current I out. Then we have one capacitor. Now this is this capacitor to ground. Then from the output to the input in the feedback we have an inductor like this. So this is inductance L. This will be the node V in. And then from V in to ground we have another capacitor. So effectively this is the circuit. We have two nodes and uh, we want to now uh, write so let's say this is v out to write the kirchhoff current laws for these two nodes then we will express all the node voltages in this kirchhoff current law uh, with one of the voltages uh, so all, all voltages there should be either v in or v out and we'll cancel uh, all the uh, terms in this uh, in, the, in the equation to v in or v out and we are will be allowed to do this because we started with the assumption that there are oscillations which means that v in and v out are not zero so uh, and uh, then uh, we'll have an expression expression uh, will be a complex expression equal to zero so for a complex expression to be equal to zero we require that both the real part and the imaginary part is equal to zero. By equating the imaginary part to zero, we'll get the frequency of oscillation. And then this frequency of oscillation put in the real part will give us the amplitude, the, uh, the requirement for uh, satisfaction of the Barhausen criteria of uh, oscillation. But let's first concentrate on the, on the frequency. All right, so let's uh, write Kirchhoff current law for this, uh, for this note. So we have I out, we have I R, we have here say I C, and we have I L. So I can write now I out, this current is equal to this current I R plus I C plus I L. So nothing special, this current is equal to this current plus this current plus this current. Now let's substitute. IR is of course V in times G. V in times G is I out. So this is still equal to IR is V out divided by R. V out divided by R. IC plus IC, so this will be V out times SC and IL so IL all the way here so this is actually IL because this current goes through the inductor and cannot go inside the transconductor so it goes through the capacitor so I can write also for IL that it is V in times SC all right yes so now um, I have here V in and here V out and V out and I need another equation to express V in in terms of V out and for this I'll take 
this uh, this node Kirchhoff current node there. I have for I L here, so this current is equal to this current, which means that the Kirchhoff current law for this node, V in node, will be V out minus V in divided by the impedance, which is SL. So this is this current, is equal to this current, which is V in div, uh, times SC. Excellent. Now I am very close because now I can multiply here. So I have V out is equal V in goes to the other side and in front of the brackets V in is one. Uh, I started making too, sh too many shortcuts times S square L C like this. Yeah. So all right, so I, ha I express V out in terms of V in, and I'll put it here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, everything should be V in now. V in times G is equal to V out divided yeah, by R, and, but V out is V in, and then something divided by R, 1 plus S square LC, plus V out be eliminated so v in 1 plus s square l c times s c this and now this one plus v in s c all right very well now i will cancel all the v in i'm allowed to divide everything by v in because v in is not a zero so this goes this goes this goes all right and now i will also multiply everything by r to get rid of this so this will be times r here nothing times r and here times r all right now <laughs> i'll get this to the other side so this will be something equal to zero s uh, Let's see, so 1 plus S square LC plus uh, SCR 1 plus S square LC plus SCR and this is minus GR. Uh, for um, sinusoidal oscillations with stable amplitude, I can substitute S with J omega. So what I'll get, still zero, is equal to one, uh, not J square is minus omega square LC plus J omega cr 1 s square j minus omega square lc plus j omega cr minus jr all right now let's uh, okay Let's reorder this into real part and imaginary part. So zero. And then we have, uh, so here only real part, one minus omega square LC minus GR. And here is the imaginary part, J times omega CR, one minus omega square LC plus omega cr like this now the frequency of so 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 this here is assumed to be at the frequency of oscillation and for this to be equal to zero we require that this equal part is zero and this part imaginary part is zero 
force and if we equate this to zero we'll get the frequency of oscillation omega zero uh, cr one minus omega zero square lc plus omega zero cr equal to zero good uh, can cancel cancel this is one so one plus one is two equal to omega square lc omega squared equal to two divided by lc or omega is square root of two divided by square root of lc all right good the answer is required to be in hertz so um, I have to consider the 2 pf 0 is equal to omega 0 hence uh, f 0 what I need to find is square root of 2 divided by 2 pi lc all right now let's see uh, what I'll get so it is square root of 2 divided by 2 times 3.14 then square of L look it's L four nano Henry four times to the ten to the power of minus nine times uh, six six picofarads so this is to the power of um, minus 12 so now let's uh, calculate this okay so I just calculated it and uh, it should be 1.45288 giga Anyway, doesn't. So let's see where the answer. Oh, here it is. This is the answer. So um, thank you very much uh, for uh, your attention. Now you can see well the answer. Yes. So bye bye.